So you're looking for a way to build your email list. You're new to online marketing, you're new in your business, and you're trying to build that email list so that you have a list of prospects, people that want what you have to offer. How do you do that? One way that a lot of videos out there will tell you to do it is to go ask your family and your friends to join your list. That's fine if that's the way you want to do it. But most of the time, they will be on your list just to make you feel good about numbers. How would you like to put emails on your list with potential prospects? I'm going to show you how to do that today. Yes, it is a way of purchasing them, but it's not just purchasing a list um, of names. There is a, there, they, These people will opt in to your email list according to what you have to offer, and I'll show you that today. First of all, before we get started, my name is Vanessa D. Berlay, and on my channel, I will help you to earn money, save time, and find balance in the process. Today, we're going to talk about buying email addresses so you can start building your email list and start making some money. First, before we start with that, I want to go over the email list just to make sure you understand what it is and why it's so important. And I keep on emphasizing this because I heard about email lists when I first started my business. And I was one of those people that sat back and said, I don't need that. I don't need to do that. I don't want to send emails to people. I just don't want to. And it wasn't until I was... Um, probably too long before I started my list and realized that was a big mistake not to do, even though I kept hearing how important it was. So I'm going to tell you again how important this is. It's probably the most important part of your business. Let's go over how you build it, and then we'll talk about why it's so important, and then I'll show you how you can build it by buying some addresses. All right. First of all, you have a free thing that you're going to offer. A lot of times people will offer a checklist or a PDF or an ebook, a course. I think courses are one of the best things that you can offer. That I notice I get most of my results from offering free courses. So the bigger that free thing is, the better. And this is why it needs to be bigger because the online marketing industry is becoming more competitive. And I'm not saying don't do it, but you got to out give everybody else. So think of it that way. What can I give that's better than what so-and-so is giving? So people will click my link instead. When you offer that free thing, you're offering it on your platform. My platform is YouTube. That's my number one platform. So I usually offer my free thing in my links on my YouTube chat uh, YouTube videos not every time but probably a good percentage of the time if you're using Facebook Instagram whatever that other platform is that you're using that's how you bring traffic into the free thing now you're gonna have them land on a landing page I use click funnels for my landing page I always have my link below if you ever want to check that out and on that landing page before they get the free thing, they have to give me their email address and their name. When they click it, it triggers uh, a little a little trigger on there that tells them to go to my autoresponder and I send them an email and give them the free thing. Now, what is the autoresponder? An autoresponder is like your mailman and mine is active campaign. And I have that trigger that it tells it to put it onto my email list, put it into active campaign. And then there is a sequence of emails that I've already built that will go out to that person. This is where sales are made. I don't know if you've already tried to spam. Most people have in the beginning. They're so excited about their product and their new business that they start telling everybody on Facebook and on Instagram, hey, you know, I've got this great shake that's going to help you lose weight. And you're so excited about it and you know it works, but just putting it out there and telling people they're not going to buy it. They're going to go that's annoying. Why are you putting this on Facebook? That's not why I'm here. I'm here to communicate and have relationships with my friends, not to be sold things. And that's why that doesn't work. And that's why that's called spamming. I think we all have done that in the beginning, especially because we were so excited and not because we were trying to spam. But the right way to do it is to give something for free. So if you have health and fitness, you could give a checklist of some ways to help improve your list, maybe ways to change your mindset. Maybe you wrote a little ebook that you wanted to give them and get them on through your e uh, autoresponder onto that email list. And this is where the money is made. You are warming them up, getting them to know you, 
and then every once in a while you'll offer something and they get to know you they're opening up your emails and they'll say you know what i really like this person i've connected with them i'm going to try that shake that she was talking about now look it took a lot longer to get there but that's how it works now how am i going to get email addresses on my email list i'm brand new and it's so frustrating all right now i'm going to show you this is you and you have your new autoresponder set up and you've got your sequence in there and you've been giving away the free thing and maybe you've got about five people on it maybe you have 50 maybe you have a hundred but you know you're just starting it's new and here is we're just gonna say Joe over here Joe can be a girl's name or a boy's name right <laughs> Joe how's that and Joe has been at this for a very very long time and Joe has a huge list. Joe has been very successful in his or her business. Joe has over 200,000 emails, maybe 500,000, who knows how many. But Joe decided, I have been selling through my email list, but now my list is so big, I'm gonna start sharing my list so that other people can take advantage of the names that I have on there, but I'm gonna charge them a fee. So Joe says, I'll tell you what, I will sell you um, for every click that you get, I will charge you 55 cents. And these prices are usually roughly um, 40 cents to like 80 cents I've seen right now. But Joe's going to charge you 55 cents for every person that clicks your email. Now you're thinking, what do you mean? Okay, so you're going to tell Joe here i have here's my website or here's my product or here's my funnel page here's the free thing i'm giving away will you please run my ad i'm going to say ad or my email through your list and i'm going to buy a hundred clicks from you so that would be 55 dollars and joe takes your 55 dollars joe runs your ad or your email lit little email whatever it is through his list or her list and once there's a hundred clicks because you paid for a hundred the run will stop and then right away i did this um the first time i did this oh my gosh it was back within 20 minutes it was that fast it was extremely fast i thought it was going to take two or three days and boom it came right back in so out of those hundred clicks a good average is about 30%. If 30% of those people, now that's good. I'm just giving you numbers. Every list is different. If you can get 30% of those people to opt into your list, then, then you've done well. Um, if you get 20% fine, you might say, well, I'll try somebody else. Maybe Joe's list isn't working for me. Um, so I'm going to go to somebody else. Uh, maybe you find somebody where you're getting 40% and go, hey, and now I'm going to buy 500. Will you do it again? So you have to go in. I'm going to give you a link below. It says buy email list below. There's a link and you go into that site and you can find different people that are selling ads on their big long list and you can go in there and find the right person for you pay attention some of them might say i specialize in health and fitness or i specialize in online marketing they're going to tell you what kind of list they have some of them are called tier one where they're basically from european nations and from the united states and australia um, some of so pay attention to the details there's a link below but that's how you buy emails for your email list um, as far as do I recommend it or do I not, it's really up to you. You will go in and you will see videos that say, absolutely, do not do that. And other people say, you know what, it's a great way to build your list. So you really have to decide for yourself. Yes, I did. I have done it to help build my list when it was small. And I got anywhere from 20% to 40% opt-ins on my lists. But I will say that when... It is more encouraging to send emails out to 200 people than it is to five people. And it just makes you feel like you're reaching more people. It, it, it honestly is up to you. But I wanted to show you how to do it, why people do it, and there you go, the mechanics. Um, if this was helpful, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. And in the meantime, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching today.